guys, Chuck, how's the Mopar? Welcome back. Um, I'm gonna start body working. Mudding, mudding, probably a little welding. I don't know. The cornet. Okay, um, been back from the blasters for a minute. Not sure where we're gonna go uh, initially here. Now we saw we had some, the cowl was rotted a little. That'd be an easy fix if it wasn't such a hard spot. That's probably going to get chucked. Yeah, we'll see. It ain't going to get a new piece, I promise you that. But what needs to happen is there's numerous dents and dings in this thing. <clears throat> Somebody in the day, they tried pulling this out right here. Clearly there's two holes. They did okay, bonded it up. I think it'd be best if I got my license, my license plate, my uh, bezel and held it in there. All along the car, I'm going to go around here with my marker and mark what might be dented. And guys, I just cannot believe it's the first time I'm looking at this. <clears throat> this fender is in really good shape. Um, there's a dinger. As we go back here, I know that there are a high spot here. See that down there? I think there's is there another one here, right here, a little bit? Yeah, I need to silence that phone. There's a dinger. The quarter, she's got her share. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what you can see. I guess I'm going about this the right way. Back here, there's quite a few more right in that area. But, down there, yep, nothing too scary. There's a dinger there that would probably get covered with trim, but wouldn't be the worst idea to put a little bondo in it. And there's a dinger here. Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna set you up. I'll slide around on my little, there I am. I'll slide along on my little cart and mark them. Then I'll try to mix up a little mud and fill something in, maybe. Okay. All right, here we are. <clears throat> I don't know what the answer is. Um, like I said, man, I'm not seeing too much here. I'm gonna have a younger set of eyes here next couple days, I believe. Jay, he's, he's uh, one of our car guys. He's the son of John, 66 Charger John, and Jay, has been working in a body shop for a couple years. <clears throat> I saw him the other day. I said, hey man, you wanna come over? And he's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, cool. He says, I've gotten really good at blocking too. I'm like, good. Other than all the lint, uh, <clears throat> it's remarkably free of dents. On this side, all right. I'm going to keep on keeping on. Try to get as many of these circles as I can, and we'll come back and I'll find a spot that doesn't have anywhere that you can see it, and I'll try doing some body work. All right. All right, here goes nothing. I understand the lighting's not the best over here, guys. It's kind of what it is. So let's uh, start over here. No scratching. All righty then. Oh, I wonder if I should stir that crap. Wouldn't hurt. I guess not. It just looked runny. That's what I know. Nothing. Put a little of this on here. It is runny. Ain't gonna take much of this. I don't know how much, but we'll just go with this. Is that enough hardener? <clears throat> mixing. Still mixing. Dinger there. 
I guess I just stay with the contour of the car or no. Like this. Do I go that much? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um ooh. It's getting hard both here and on the board. So this is some, um, this is the, it's not 24 grit. Let's just call it that. It's a little finer than that, but not much. You knock it off. This is 220, it's what, what we had. Um, really 180 would be better, but let's see what happens here. It's rough. Just set Drew up. Text asking if this is too much to put on or what to do. We'll see. We're shaving. What is that? Let's go back with some 220. I guess that's a dent that doesn't exist now. I guess. Hell, I don't know. Several days later. I'm back. It's a couple days later from when I had done that. This was a fact finding mission just to see what I could do. I think I used way too much. I certainly mixed up too big of a batch because there's most of it still laying right there. Um, but you know, we're learning. Um, how do they feel? They feel like they need some massaging. Okay. Yeah. Massaging for sure. So like I said before, Jay's going to come over. He's got a couple of years of body work and paint shop experience. And has, took a welding class, which I wish I could have. Now, Jay is not uh, like Drew that's been doing this for 30 years. But Jay has been doing it for a, while, a couple of years. And he's been taught, okay? He's done that kind of work and would bondle something up and feel it. And then the guys would say, you need to this, okay? Those are the kind of techniques that I've not had. And let's not forget this mess. That would require half an inch of Bondo in there. Not great, because you saw it did crack. It needs to get hit from behind, underneath. Not easy with uh, everything in the way. Okay, um, a long time before these get put on for good, right? Uh, I went ahead and got the grill because I want to see something. That other side we know is damaged. This isn't bad here. Uh, it's not great there. Went downstairs to get these and I'm like, oh, I bet that's the one that goes over here. That's too bad, kind of, a bit of a gap. Looks like we should have about a three eighths of an inch gap. That's what the other side looked like. So I don't know what we're gonna do here. May, uh, I don't know. That was me yeah. playing, Jay. Playing around. I, I, well, I did, I did one, you know, and came back. I didn't go back, okay, so, yeah. Not bad. Yeah, I just got those out. That's the, yeah. There's not much we can do there. You guys remember Jay? <laughs> Party coming over here to get to be on TV. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Jay's got that uh, Panther Paint 72 Duster. Yeah, so anyway. All right. There's that. Like this here. You don't see that when it's in epoxy and stuff. Yeah. What Honestly, do you see? I think whenever he primes it, that will all of these will get up, covered i think i see what you're doing so you're just you're yeah. just blocking the thing what did you you didn't say blocking did you what's the term uh is? it's almost like a guide, guide code. Code. Yeah, yeah just to kind of your low spots will show through obviously i sure do um Trying to get it flat or to a little in? A little maybe. in, yeah. You can feel a dent. Yeah, that's about right. 
Just enough. Yeah, that is just a teeny tiny bit. Okay, um, J split. Oh, I just see somewhere else I need to get here. Um, I need that. Uh, J did most of that. I was back there banging out. I'll show you in a minute. I was back there banging some stuff out. So we had these high spots. This one, he hammered and dollied out. This one goes up higher. Okay. Maybe even old Chuck can feel it a little bit. Okay, let's look at the back real quick. <clears throat> I've been in here banging this out. Okay, it was hammered in quite a bit. I can get in from behind using various weapons. This, not so easy to get to. <clears throat> I'm going to bust out the welder because this is all loose. And now this is actually split right here. So, I'm not going to get the welder out today. I'll hammer on this some more. <clears throat> There's a tail light. Okay, see the gap? It's actually a whole lot better than it was. Without ripping a bunch of stuff, I don't know. The bumper comes up to here. So this got to be pretty, pretty, pretty. That's where the big bondo was. Okay, I am gonna go and I'm gonna go and sand this. Mix up a little batch for this. I that might wait. Instead up. I'm not gonna mix a batch up for just that. Okay. That's where I'm at. That's where we're at. Learn a lot from old Jay. Okay. The next day. Okay, continue to screw up. I went ahead and punched the wrong thing, had this thing doing its own deal. I've already started. Um, yeah, so it's coming off pretty good, and uh, we'll just keep sanding here. Yeah, all right. The next day okay back at her pitter patter i'm not doing bondo today saw me weld this up that's good enough to actually well it was whatever got pounded down a little it was a little high there compared to that um you guys don't know it but i've been banging on this bang you know when jay was here the other day i was banging here to try to get this out i did it's uh it is better and then drew came over <clears throat> he actually had me hold the dolly out here so he could use a punch to knock it in knock this back audis aren't too bad you know because audis can be made innies and it's a whole lot better but it, it did rip down here and that's okay we're not too scared we being me so what I'm going to do, I think, I've got a copper pad. You hold it on there and you won't weld through. But I think I'm going to go see if I've got some bit of half-inch copper tubing that I can hold here and weld from the inside. Um, the problem we run into is double, double walled here, okay? So you're trying to bang out this, but it's actually behind this piece it can be done it's gonna be done okay it's just surprises not big ones so
one week later. Yeah, about a week later. Um, so uh, I needed to leave that day that I was welding back there that you saw. And in my mind, I started backing up from when I had to leave. And suddenly I'm like, I have got to clean up right now. So I did. I haven't looked at that since we got back, since I did it. So we're going to both see again, close up. Anyway, Mr. J came over. He's been doing his magic while I was gone. Drew came over, offered some advice. We're going to continue to body work on this booger. And then uh, we'll have Drew come back. And he's going to show us everything we missed. Anyway, Jay was over here working on this part, getting the uh, schmooing it down. This door was, you know, there was a bottle in it. It wasn't the credit card, maybe thickness. So anyway, let me have a look at what I have brought. Rot, RO, whatever. <clears throat> there it is. That's when I abruptly stopped. Not feeling bad. Um, so guys, I decided to weld this because weld it, well, build weld up because um, it's thin. So I could tippy tap maybe a lot of it with a double wall to problem from here over. But uh, once you start sanding on it, that's Detroit steel there. It's gonna get thin, you're gonna go through. So from here on out, I'm gonna get really careful about doing this and I'm gonna work on it by myself. And then I'll work on this. And this has got, oh, let's see if that's the right one. <clears throat> this has got a, where's it go? Put the wrong one. Hold on. This will have to fit on here. By God. It isn't the ugliest thing at the moment, right? This has been on here its whole life. You know, the bracket, the bumper, bumper jack and guard. Yeah, not hating it actually. I didn't know much that much of it got hidden down there. That makes me really super happy. Oh, wow, it's a bonus, man. Anyway, so yeah, I'll leave this a little low in here because we'll schmoo it, right? It's gonna need to get schmooed. Okay, let me work on it. I'll show you. Well, that's that for now. Once again, I just wasn't able to keep at this long enough to fill everything like along there you gotta zap it zap it zap it zap it zap it zap it and then grind it sand that's much better this is lead lead doesn't play too well with this um guys it's just not terrible it's really not it's a little high there tippy tap would take care of that and that's that I think I'm going to leave this one here, guys. I hope you don't feel unfulfilled. Don't worry. This will be episode one. Um, yeah. So, episode one of body work. We'll see how this goes. Uh, there's still more to do. We got a cowl that needs welding, a hood that might get welded. I completely forgot that I had three hoods. And I can cut a piece out. And there they are. Gathering... Uh, dust or whatever acorns wall art maybe fixable wall art and junk i could cut out that piece that i need uh for the hood in there you know to make it acceptable acceptable to me maybe you guys um i still got holes in my quarter panel check this out yeah look at that guy named scott four b bodies only he had a four door and it's junk down there and mine kind of junk through there. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do this, guys. I think I'm going to, you know, use part of it and do this. Yeah, I believe I will. We'll see. Yeah, that's a big one there for me to do that. I think I can cut and butt it. I'd have to go ahead and drill spot welds out, get the inner structure out of there. Same here. Cut this, lay it over. Do my magic not only that but he's got that tail light assembly below the tail light assembly right here picture yeah he's got that and that isn't too expensive shipped either i think i'm gonna have him ship it to me we'll just look at it and that piece that picture i showed you it's 60 bucks shipped so i mean what the hell we'll get it here at the very least we'll compare what we've got compare notes 
I don't mind, you know, taking that chance. What I should do is practice on that before I do this one, because that one is a whole lot less noticeable than this. Anyway, um, I'm going to put the full playlist right up here. You guys can click on that if you're new to the channel, you know, and if you are, welcome aboard. And uh, you can just start from the beginning when I looked at this car for the first time and then drug it home. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks so much, guys, for coming along with me. We'll see you next time. See ya.